Firefighters from the Bay Area are working around the clock at the site of the collapse right now. And ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon checks in with first responders who say they're staying hopeful they could still find survivors. First responders from the Tampa Bay area continue to search for survivors at the site near Miami where a condominium building collapsed last week. Crews work 12-hour shifts, only taking breaks to stay hydrated or to eat something. They're hot. They're, they're getting a lot of work in. The hours are long. You know, it's a 12-hour period that you work. Um, a lot of times right now, today's been an entirely wet, rainy day, um, but they're still working through it. So then it becomes extra uh, issues as far as safety. Members from Tampa, St. Pete, and Hillsborough County Fire Rescue make up Task Force 3. They deployed over the weekend. Lieutenant Stephen Lawrence with St. Pete Fire Rescue speaks to me from near the site. He handles logistics. He says the pancake collapse of the building left layer upon layer of debris. He says crews look for pockets of space where survivors may be. You're de-layering going from the top, working the way down. Um, and as you're de-layering, you're hitting little voids. It may be the bathtub that creates a void. It may be the kitchen uh, countertops or furnishings or the bed itself. This search and rescue mission is the largest non-hurricane deployment of task force resources in Florida's history. Lawrence says crews will not give up hope. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.